going on guys it's your guy luch from luch customs and untouchable sounds bringing to you a video today of the 2007 to current jeep wrangler unlimited train horn set from klein if you guys want to follow me you can follow me at fate on facebook at lkwhips.com instagram at lkwhips snapchat at lkwhips and on Facebook at LK Whips. Untouchable Sounds, you can follow us on Instagram and Untouchable Sounds by LK Whips on Instagram. So this video is gonna just give you a walkthrough of what I did as far as wiring up the Klein train horn for the JK with the onboard air system. So I'm gonna start from the battery over. So I took my power source for my switch for the uh, for the horn itself came straight off the battery goes routed throughout the whole car through here comes down if you can see it it's got a little hole there the hole comes out from under here I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna try to make this video as, as clear as I can because it was a pain in the ass for me too but that's where the hole goes and it goes over um so that switch goes right here that that wire goes right here and that wire there i have a constant that goes to this one side of the switch and the other switch would be the purple switch that goes to the horns and then from the horns you go ahead and um you go ahead and throw the purple switch here to the horns the red wire that I just showed you for the battery goes to the other side of this. This is how I have it. I'm not saying you guys have to have it, but that's the way I have it. It's not all the way done yet, but I will be mounting the gauge that they give you with it onto somewhere up there. But I'm going to give you guys a quick view because it was a pain in the ass. I didn't really get it at first. Now that I got it done, it's not that bad. But I'll show you real quick, excuse me for all the running around, uh, bottling and everything. So this here is the actual unit. So I have, the way I have it is I have my open outlet on this side here and my, my drain plug on this side. Um, this should have been on this side here, but if I would have did it like that, I would have had to switch everything around and I didn't want to do that. So I have this one over here. You can see that it's plugged, it's, it's clocked out. You got your open end here for your, if you ever want to air up your tire for when you're off-roading or whatnot. This one here is clogged out. This is your safety. This here is going to the, this is the way I have it it's for the actual horns. I put an L bracket on there because it was a little bit too close to here. I actually moved this a little bit more up because it was really close. Inside here is the air, you can see it a little. That's the air compressor right here. Uh, right here is the air compressor itself. Um, and then I got my relay right here. Right here is where you can see the relay. So the way I have it wired in is you're gonna have two bolts right here that hangs on to the canister right there so you, I actually use those two bolts I actually use the same bolts that came with it and then over here you're gonna see like that L bracket that they give you they'll give it to you here and it'll go over this cross member the way I found it is if you go ahead and look at the muffler right on the side of the mufflers right here that's the cross member you're using to lock that in place then as far as the wiring goes I have the air compressor is which is like I said which is right here this is actually I use the L, uh, L bracket for that as well because it was, it was it's a pretty tight fit um, so this one here will go and it goes into the relay and it'll give you the diagram so I have it where the number 30 is the constant power 87 is the air compressor um, I don't remember the other number the other number gets grounded and then the other one gets on a switch so 
Then I have them all thrown up right through here to the back seats. I grounded my horns and my air compressors uh, and my relay right there. And then I have the wiring for the train horns right there. So both train horns are hooked up. I suggest you guys, when you guys do it, uh, move the heat shield out of the way. Because, like I said, it was a pain in the butt to do. Move it out of the way, and then when you're done with the job, you can go ahead and put it back together. But I recommend going in through here, slanted, to get your three, uh, three pulse things on there. And what I had to do, because it was loose, was I had to put like a, 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 ha a quarter inch spacer in between the actual bracket itself and the cross member which went ahead and tight made it really tight so now it's secure it's not gonna move i got my horns up there i got both my wires which it, it was kind of weird to me as well but each each horn has two red wires um so and and the other one the other one itself has two red wires as long as you it doesn't matter which one's which but as long as you have one red wire from one and one red wire from the other one together and that goes so you're going to connect one red one from here one red one from here that and you connect that to the purple wire whatever wire that you're going to put onto a switch and the other red one on each one of them connect that to ground that's how you're going to set that up there like i said i ended up going and it was a ground point so i just went ahead and grounded it right there i just took the paint off and grounded it right there um, so that'll go ahead and give you your horn set up which is grounded and uh you got your two red wires that are connected that's going to turn into your purple wire which is that's what's going to go to your actual activation switch i guess you want to call so whenever you hit that switch that will be turning on so just so everybody understands this horn setup here is completely different setup from the actual uh, onboard air system compressor setup. So once you get that hooked up and you got it situated and it's tight, leave the horns off because the directions didn't make sense to me either. But when you put it all together, it's a little bit makes a little bit more sense. But either way, you're gonna have this wire, this thing right here, which is going to your brake. You can see it right there where it goes to your brake. That'll be in your way to tighten it, but just finagle with it and you'll be fine with it. Um, so once you get that bracket put up, you're going to connect two red wires, put that to a purple wire. The other two red wires connect to a ground wire, and that'll be ground. Um, so pretty much you need power and negative to be able to activate the horns. Um, then after you hook that up, what I end up doing was I end up routing my air horns to come out from here the the switch itself came from here routed out through here so that's coming from the air compressor underneath the canister and then it goes up and then it goes over the this uh the gas line kind of weird but it works and then goes to the air horns right there you have your t connection from the both of the air horns into that T connection and then on the other end of the T connection you're gonna go that's what's gonna get the air from the actual air uh, from the air compressor itself um, what I end up doing so you're gonna uh, uh, there you go so on one side of the cylinder uh, on one side of the relay is actually gonna go plugged into the pressure switch which is right here and then the other side of the of the uh, pressure switch is actually going to go to your ignition which I end up going ahead and tapping into the pink and white wire for the car itself so that's just pretty much a quick walkthrough of how I got it set up I am not 100% done I still working on a couple things um, this is the finished product of how it sounds that'll give you an idea um, how loud it gets I also have it where I have a, a molt a meter as well so this here will show that I'm, I'm at sorry I'm at I'm not even gonna hook up these wires here 
for the power and ground for the light because I could care less for it. I'm at 100, almost 120, 118 or something like that, 115 PSI. So when I turn my Jeep on, so once it starts needing it, then it'll go ahead and grab it. But I'm at 115 PSI and I can play with it. And then, that, by the way, you're gonna need a clean air filter. That's gonna come out from the end of your air compressor. I routed it up so that it went into the Jeep so that it stays clean and it stays away from any dust or anything like that. And I just put it here because um, one, it's a good area for it. Two, since my vehicle's a show vehicle, um, I really don't mess with it much. And if I ever want to open the door, it still gets clean air. But I can hit the horn. And then when I hit about 100 PSI, that's when it turns on. You want to definitely hook up the pressure switch so that it knows when to turn on and when to turn off. Um, because if not, you'll literally have a bomb there. Um, so again, this is my horn switch. Um, that came with the actual kit. I just used that horn switch. And what I did here, I literally took that purple switch that you normally have that comes from the horns. I hooked it up there. And then the power, I threw constant power to the other side of this switch, which was over there to that battery. So I actually have a whole set of batteries as well. Um, by the way, um, this is like I said this is a complete audio setup for my untouchable sounds business but I have an extra set of batteries here so when I have the set of batteries here what it does it actually gives I just tapped into there because it was easier for me so um, so that pretty much walks you through the whole how I set mine up I'm not saying that's the right way to do it I followed the directions as much as I can and emphasize on the rest but this is the wire diagram that I was telling you about to go to your pressure switch so 85 is the pressure switch um, your compressor power is going to your 87 your batteries on 30 so you go there and again it'll give you an idea of what you got going so here it is hope you guys enjoy yourself hope this was a helpful video if you have any comments or questions about it hit me up you can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat at LK Whips. Comment on this video here, and I'll try to help you as much as I can. Hope this video helps you guys. And hashtag Luch Customs, hashtag Untouchable Sounds, hashtag Clines. Hashtag if it's too loud, it's too bad. Talk to you guys later.